Hello everyone, I'm Henry Lee. Welcome back to my studio, blueheronarts.com. Now we're going to do a special design mood seal for Ginny. Um, this one is inspired by Han style um, tile, Eve tile, we call it Eve tile head design uh, with uh, auspicious uh, auspicious cloud pattern and the, the word says um, leisure clouds leisure clouds um, if you put it on google it's, it will say idle clouds uh, leisure means uh, uh, free uh, clouds or uh, flowing clouds we we have this concept in many uh, Chinese literature and poetry. It's a very important uh, kind of mood, leisure mood. So I'm going to transfer this design on the stone like this. It's a liquid called the acetone. Okay. Well, it's a little bit off center. But you know what? I I like it because uh, it gives like a uh, wabi sabi, you know, incomplete, uh, incomplete uh, beauty kind of. Um, let me redo it. So that's why I have many copies, just in case. Okay, I erased it. And then we just take another shot. I use another stamp. This is a laser jet printer copy. You have to use the toner printer. It's very hard with the round seal because it's hard to I can see it when it's wet, but it will be too late and start to transfer. Let it dry a little bit before it gets completely dry. Take it off. I think it's eno uh, enough to do the carving. The characters are perfect. Just make this cloud a little. Leave it with my marker pen. Auspicious cloud. You know the the lu, lu yi in Chinese like this is an auspicious cloud. And the character says the uh, leisure clouds or xian. And in Chinese uh, sales script, the yun is like a like this uh, pictograph. It could go either way. Uh, this is a mirror image. Anyway, um, I'm going to carve it now with uh, 
in uh, uh, actually beyond or po positive curvy. I'll do the characters first, just in case I make a mistake, I have to do it again. And do the pattern later. Let me put this on the clamp, see if it's easier. Turn the wheel, spin it. It may help with my curve strokes.
out here is okay. Okay, we'll cancel the duplicate one for you. No problem. Okay, I will do that. Don't worry. Understood. Thank you for all the. I'm yeah. I'm in the middle of something. I'll do that uh, after this. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.
Okay, you need to do a clean up. to orient the round seal. That's why we normally don't use round seal for the name seal. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Just knock out some uh, margin. There's always a risk, but uh, that's the that's the risk way that you do it uh, for in you know, for design. So take some risk and then adjust. That's the way to go. Okay, I'm going to make a official imprint now. You make another copy just for sure. Straight up, gently. That's how we do it. Okay, <laughs> but I'm going to make a final copy. And by the way, we have done two seals for this uh, uh, for Jimmy. Uh, this is the uh, name Green Jade. This is uh, Zhangzi. Diced seal, now it's a video seal. Video cut seal. We call this kind of seal video seal because uh, it can be anything uh, image or phrase other than name seal. We call it video seal. Video cut is uh, perfect. to do it straight. Oh, a little 
little bit lean to the left. It's kind of hard. You need to make a copy for Jenny. have a hard time if you use it on a daily basis as a name seal you know, on the wrong stone. Unless you don't mind like a chop just for identity and for post office use, they don't care if it's upside down. Right? But on painting you have to be very careful. Okay, perfect. This one is perfect oriented. All right. Thank you very much, Jenny, for your commissioning of doing this uh, series of uh, name and uh, mood seals. Um, hope you enjoyed this in our Enzo painting. And uh, thank everybody for your patience of uh, watching this uh, video and other my painting and uh, seal engraving art videos. Uh, if you have any idea you want me to cooperate with you with your mood seal or name seal, please contact me at blueheronarts.com. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.